Hallo und willkommen zurück zu Pretty Old Pixel und dem Replay von Star Trek 25th Anniversary. Mein Name ist Selma und das letzte Mal haben wir einen aztekischen Gott gejagt, haben ihn gefunden und es hat sich herausgestellt, dass der die Menschen und die Klingonen, also die Azteken und die Klingonen beeinflusst hat. Und er dachte, er wäre ein Gott des Friedens, der selbst Aufopferung äh, gelehrt hat, aber übrig geblieben ist nur Opferung und äh, dass die Jünger von ihm wohl sehr blutrünstig geworden sind, weil er die falschen Anführer zurückgelassen hat, als er gegangen ist. Das bereut er jetzt und hat uns gefragt, ob wir ähm, bereut er jetzt und möchte seine Kräfte wieder abgeben und hat uns gefragt, ob wir technische äh, in der Medizin Fortschritte gemacht haben. So und Kirk hat gesagt, ja, wir haben Raumfahrt, was meinst du denn, was wir mit der Medizin gemacht haben? With Dr. McCoy, I sometimes wonder, but yes, I would say we have made considerable advances. <laughs> yes, why do you ask? At the top of my spine is a gland not found in your species. This is the seat of my power. I wish you to remove it, thereby making me immortal. Jim, I'll try, but the physiology is completely alien. You've got to do it, Bones. If the Klingons realize he's no longer a threat to them, Perhaps we can avoid a war. Scotty, five to beam up. Okay. Captain, three Klingon heavy battle cruisers have just entered the system. Admiral Kenka is hailing us, sir. Federation Starship. This is Admiral Vlick Finker of the Creator. You harbor a criminal who has caused the destruction of the entire population of Rakkor. We are not prepared to negotiate. You will proceed to Rakkor, where a court of Cleon justice will be convened. If you refuse, we shall destroy you. Admiral Vlick, the criminal of whom you speak is in the middle of a very delicate medical procedure. He cannot be handed over to anyone at this time. Hmm? I cannot believe Quetzalcoatl's mission to Rakur would cause the deaths of the entire planet. Since when do Klingons give orders to Federation officers, Admiral? Mm -hmm. Admiral Vlick, the criminal of whom you speak, is in the middle... His attempt to corrupt the Empire with his philosophy led to the destruction of all life on Rakur. How could a philosophy of peace and non-violence cause the destruction of all life on Rakur? Rapcore has been governed by my family for generations, but even they were corrupted by him. It was a matter of honor that his lies had to be silenced, no matter what the cost. My God, you killed your own people just because they acquired a philosophy that you disagreed with? So you killed them, your own family. You were responsible for their deaths, not Quetzalcoatl. You murdered them. You're insane. Tell me how much do your commanders know about what you did? Or do you need to kill Quetzalcoatl to hide your own deeds? Mm. My God, you killed your own people just because they acquired a philosophy that you disagreed with? It was that creature's fault. Had he not interfered in our affairs, the people of Rakkor would be alive. Clearly, he is responsible. Message from Starfleet Command. I'll argue this with you later, Blake. Contact your superiors, Kirk. You may be surprised. I have bad news, Captain. The Organians have ruled that Quetzalcoatl's interference in Klingon affairs renders him subject to Klingon law. You are to turn your prisoner over to them at Rakur. Klingon law will permit you to observe or aid in his defense. But be very careful, Jim. Starfleet out. Captain, you cannot turn him over to those butchers. That would be murder. We have no choice, Scotty. I'm afraid Quetzalcoatl has a date with Klingon justice. Set course for Rakur, Mr. Chekhov. Okay. Haben wir jetzt die Operation geschafft? Also an Quetzalcoatl. Captain Swan, we have come to the ruined Klingon planet of Rakur to deliver our guest, the mythical entity Quetzalcoatl, to a Klingon court. Dr. McCoy, Mr. Spock, and Ensign Benny and I have been granted permission by the Organians to witness this trial, which I expect to be a travesty of any meaningful definition of justice. Spock, come with me. Mr. Scott, you have the car.
The prisoner and his witnesses will stand forth, so the trial may begin. Okay. <coughs> Save new game. Replace. Speichern wir mal kurz. A Klingon guard. A big Klingon guard. A big Klingon guard with his disruptor ready to fire on anyone who gives him trouble. Ich hätte nicht gedacht, dass man so oft Klingon, Big und Guard in zwei Sätzen unterbringen kann. Admiral Vlicht, Commander of the Klingon flagship Klerta. So. This bench is marked with the symbol of the Klingon Court of High Justice. The two triangles of words and blood linked together. Mhm. Your newfound friend looks rather frightened right now, and you don't blame him. Ensign Benny stares around the Klingon court, distrusting everything he sees. Mr. Spock looks stoically at the Klingon bench, expecting to win this case would be illogical. So, Kirk, we finally meet. I had thought it would be in battle, but... The universe holds many surprises. There's nothing less appealing than a gloating Klingon flick. Let's get this trial underway. <laughs> Stick around, Flick. There are more surprises awaiting you. Why does every Klingon tell me they expected to meet me in battle? You really have a one-track mind. <laughs> So be it! This begins the trial of the entity Quetzalcoatl, who is charged with impersonating a Klingon, stirring dissent, encouraging cowardice, and treason in the highest degree. Those are serious charges, Flicked. Should he not be tried by a Klingon High Court? He has not demonstrated honor, Kirk. Only a proven warrior may be tried in High Court. Principles of honor are not applicable to his defense. I'm a warrior, Flicked. I hereby intervene for him and demand the honors and responsibilities of a warrior's trial. Oh, okay. Then this trial is a mockery for the entire galaxy to see. Oh, well, I'm afraid you're on your own, Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> I'm a warrior, Vlicht. I hear... A Federation officer claiming the rights of a Klingon warrior. How dare you insult me, Kirk? I faced Klingons both in personal and ship-to-ship -ship combat. Your own records will confirm this. If I'm not worthy of their honors, why didn't they kill me? That oversight, Kirk, is easily rectified. You and your three companions may face the test that we set for the Defender. Then we shall see if you are as worthy as a Klingon. I want your word of honor, Vlicht, that Quetzalcoatl will not be harmed while we take these tests. Very well. You have my word. Captain Kalarax, transport them to the test of life. Okay. What is this place? Not much is known about Hwakur, Ensign. This would appear to be some sort of a mining installation. That creature might be a native life form. A test of courage? That is the Klingon way. I somehow doubt that Vlicht intends for us to survive this, whatever the outcome. We're the only thing that stands between him and the killing of Quetzalcoatl that he can justify. Why should he worry about justification, Captain? He's a Klingon. Murder is as natural to them as breathing. That's not true, Ensign. However, I suspect that Blick's attack on Kharkur exceeded his orders. He needs Quetzalcoatl as a scapegoat, and he needs a fair trial to avoid an inquiry of his own actions. And our deaths will be the only way he can get it. Great. Okay. Das sieht interessant aus. Das hier soll eine Lebensform sein oder was hatte Spock gesagt? A field of static lightning. It seems to be moving in a purposeful manner. Okay. Das you look and see nothing of note. A slightly antiquated Klingon lock mechanism. The floor is incomplete, made of unrefined natural rock. These wooden rods are support beams that were not placed. You look but see nothing of note. Okay, that's last thing. Your ever logical friend, Spock. Your ever dependable crewman, Ensign Benny. Your ever emotional friend, Dr. McCoy. James T. Kirk, 
Hero of the Galaxy. Hero of the Galaxy, okay. Guck mal mal. This creature is composed of electrical fields. I would not recommend approaching it. A metal projectile might disrupt its fields and render it harmless. Nothing to report, Captain. An entry coder for the door, keyed to a number sequence. The tricorder is unable to determine the code, but can scan the mechanism. An entry coder for the door. This rock has a high iron content. Oh, okay. This rock has a high... These wooden rods are support beams that were not placed. Nothing to report. Muss ich den anderen? Äh, bringt wahrscheinlich nichts, ne? It does not register. Okay, okay registriert kein Lebensraum. Kann ich hier was von nehmen? Oh, oh. You fail to obtain any. Bevor ich das da jetzt reinwerfe, speichere ich kurz. You fail to obtain anything. Oh, nee. You fail to obtain. Ach, ich wollte benutzen. Okay. Das geht schon mal nicht. Hm, also hier ist Eisenerz drin. Wie kriege ich den jetzt? Kann ich hier was mit einem Holzstück rausbrechen? There is nothing at the moment for me to do there. Nothing at the moment. There is nothing at the moment for me to. There is nothing at the moment for me to. Wieder muss there is genau nothing kriegen. at the moment for me to do there. There is nothing at the moment for. There is nothing at the moment. There is nothing at the moment. There is nothing at the moment. There is nothing at the moment for me to. Nee. <coughs> there is nothing at the moment for me. To. Also müsste man das irgendwie einschmelzen. Ah. Ja, das ist auch okay. You melt some of the rock. Hm. Kann man den da rein tunken? Oder verbrennt er? Den müsste er ja eigentlich verbrennen, oder? There is nothing at the moment for me. To. There is nothing at the moment for me. To. Wie ist das denn wieder? There is nothing at the moment for me. The melted rock is cooling, but still remains in a molten state. Hmm. Can I do more? No, no, no. You melt some of the. So, I have the feeling I must have done some. Clunk? Be clunk. What? Okay, muss man nicht verstehen. You coat the rod with molten iron. It hardens quickly. Okay, jetzt werfe ich den hier rein. Oder auch nicht, doch. As I suspected, Captain, the creature is in stasis. It should awaken in 3.48 days. I bet it'll be mad. So, das ist schon mal nicht schlecht. Können wir das hier Captain, nehmen? I would strongly recommend against disturbing the rod. It could result in awakening the creature or possibly electrocuting you. Okay. There is nothing at the moment for me to do. Captain, there is a force field between us and the planet. We have your position at approximately 30 meters beneath the surface of Rakor and what appears to be the ruins of an archaeological dig. Keep us informed. We'll help you all we can. We can analyze any data you gather through the main computer. Uhura, prepare to receive a tricorder message. There is a door with an entry coder here. Try to analyze the circuits and let the main computer crack the code. Scan complete. Main computer has the code. We also read an anomaly. Something else has tapped into the key code. Shall I analyze? I want that door open. Um. Hmm. Affirmative, Uhura. 
analysiert mal. Sir, we have a secondary code that is nested in the Klingon program. Computer is unable to analyze its function. Shall we broadcast it to you when you activate the keypad? Affirmative. Good luck, Captain. Hm. Habe ich nicht Say verstanden, was das jetzt hier ist. Replace Ein Code im Code, aber Hm. Hallo? Ich möchte das Keypad aktivieren. There is nothing at the moment for me to do there. Okay, muss Bock das dann machen? Okay. What is this place? This is not Klingon technology, Captain. Even I can see that, you pointy-eared freak. Gentlemen, I suggest we start trying to find out what this is. I have a feeling we've come someplace Blick wasn't expecting us to go. Ja, das sieht sehr interessant aus. Aber was das hier auf sich hat und wie es hier weitergeht, schauen wir uns das nächste Mal an. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß beim Zuschauen und habt auch ein bisschen Lust auf Star Trek wiederbekommen und habt auch Lust, mir beim nächsten Mal zuzusehen. Bis dahin!